Drew Peterson has been named as a suspect in his wife Stacy's disappearance. The Bolingbroke mother hasn't been seen for nearly two weeks, and officials say they're now treating the case as a possible homicide. CBS News' Rafael Romo is live in Bolingbroke right now with the latest on search efforts. Rafael. Suzanne, good morning. Volunteers here at Westbrook Christian Church are getting ready to search again today for Stacy Peterson. They just told me the search will focus today on the Green Valley Forest Preserve near Naperville. The investigation took an entirely different turn yesterday when police confirmed that Stacy Peterson's disappearance is now considered a homicide case. Uh, Drew Peterson has gone from a person of interest to clearly being a suspect. For 29 years, he was a member of his town's police force. This morning, the Bolingbroke Police Department considers 53-year-old Drew Peterson a suspect in the disappearance of his own wife, 23-year-old Stacy Peterson. I would say the case has shifted now from a missing person case to uh, a potential uh, homicide case. Two fellow police officers came to Drew Peterson's home yesterday with a notification. The written notice said that he's no longer one of them and is suspended without pay, pending an internal affairs investigation, the first step the police department takes before firing an officer. Be honest with yourself. Come forward. Give information out to police if you have anything. Just be honest. This is the message the family of Stacy Peterson sent to the suspect last night. The mother of two has now been missing for 13 days, and her relatives have said all along that they consider her disappearance very suspicious. It's been a whole range of emotions for me, but there is um, some relief in the fact that we are having progress with this case. We didn't want and in a new development in this case, a neighbor of Drew Peterson uh, says that she may be seeking an order of protection. She says a couple of nights ago, Drew Peterson approached her constantly screaming her name, and uh, she and her family don't feel safe anymore. Reporting live from Bolingbroke, Rafael Romo, CBS 2 News. All right, thank you, Rafael. And Stacy Peterson's disappearance has led authorities to take another look at the death of Drew Peterson's third wife. CBS 2's West Suburban Bureau Chief Mike Puccinelli reports they now believe Kathleen Savio's death may have been staged to look like an accident. We're uh, here today to indicate that we're formally reopening the investigation into the death of Kathleen Savio. And the crucial next step will be to reopen the casket she was buried in three and a half years ago in this hillside cemetery. Exhuming a body is not something this veteran prosecutor has ever done. It's a very extraordinary measure under Illinois law. But Glasgow believes the coroner's jury that ruled Savio died by accidentally drowning in this bathtub made a mistake. He believes the Savio case file amounts to a miscarriage of justice, told in the words of the autopsy report and in the crime scene photos. With 29 years of experience, there was no doubt in my mind it wasn't an accident. The first problem Glasgow noted was the one-inch gash in the back of Savio's head. And if she wasn't unconscious, Glasgow says she couldn't possibly have drowned. Furthermore, Glasgow believes the blood evidence is indicative of a murder staged to look like an accident. Wound, being a head wound, would have created profuse bleeding. The blood evidence in the tub area is not consistent with the water leaking slowly out of the tub uh, and leaving a residue. Glasgow hopes to learn more when Savio's body is exhumed in the coming days. He hopes tests will show how she was rendered unconscious prior to drowning. Other tests will check for broken bones and hidden bruises. Microscopic examination will be done of tissue to see if there are any subcutaneous bruises it could be associated with choking and other, other injuries. Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. To keep track of the developments, remember CBS 2 is always on CBS2Chicago.com. And you can check out the latest police and prosecutor news conferences by clicking on video.